Welcome, my friends, and welcome, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It's your host, Galadon, and it is another unique episode of No Cash Clash. That is right, our 231st installment of the free-to-play Clash of Clans accounts, and the upgrades are flying by. But you know what doesn't fly by? Your opportunity to subscribe to the channel, to turn on notifications, and perhaps to even leave a like and a comment for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you guys so much that are enjoying No Cash Clash. As you can see, we are just getting right into it. I'm showing you the upgrades, and yes, today's episode is somewhat unique. I'll get to that in just a moment, as we're going to get a live look at No Cash Clash. For now, this was a mistake. Never do this. Never let your hammers sit unpurchased if you have the medals, notice I had over 1,000 CWL League medals. Gotta spend those so that you don't have to wait the seven day cooldown so that you can buy them back to back. Now, I wanted to share this raid specifically because it was perhaps the best placed and timed invisibility spell that I have ever dropped since I've been farming. And I'll admit, I am getting better at smooth placement of things like spells and segues to using code Galadon because it's a very important part of the channel. Those of you that make purchases in any Supercell game after using the code Galadon, I just wanted to say thank you so much. You are a big part of the reason that this channel still exists after nine years and I can drop invisibility spells like this one as the goblins go on from the Dark Elixir storage to destroy the town hall. I'm sorry. That was just like, I was so excited, so excited to get that invisibility spell so well timed that the goblins were able to survive from destroying the Dark Elixir to move on and take out the town hall in what was really just a sneaky goblin knife style attack. All right, so here comes the unusual part of today's episode, and that is a live look at No Cash Clash. Don't scare it off, as the owner of No Cash Clash has logged in and found a builder free on both the home village and the builder side. That's right, the Builder Hall 9 that needs a lot of work and Builder Hall 10 just around the corner. I have predicted that Builder Hall 10 is going to be revealed on February 30th, so stand by for that. On February 30th, we will see Builder Hall 10 released. Okay, so as you can see, we're kind of clearing obstacles. We're going back and forth between the Builder Hall and the home side. We've got a Builder Free over here, and one of my favorite things to do is in the home village, use a Builder Potion and clear obstacles, or how about on the Builder side, use the Clock Tower and clear obstacles. We're gonna pick up like 25 free gems right here. Remember, when that gem mine is level nine and it fills up, it's another 22 free gems. So those of you that complain about the Builder Hall side, just remember that you're looking at a lot of gems. And actually, I believe, I think it was Scott from my streams that once sat down and calculated just how many gems you would get in a month if all you did was collect the gems from the gem mine and clear obstacles, but it was it was well over 100, okay? It was definitely over 100 gems a month. So, you know, it's worthwhile to build it up, to work on it, even if it's not the most exciting thing to do. So we've cleared all of the obstacles. We're going to go ahead and put the builder back to work. We don't have enough to do an upgrade in the lab. We're really, again, only focusing on minions and dropships. Once those are maxed out, then we'll move on to something like hog gliders or whatnot. Okay, so back at home, uh, no such luck as having the builder potion active. So this is generally the monotony of account management. And I thought I would include it in today's episode for two reasons. Number one, because players are saying, Galadon, you need to make longer episodes. And number two, if I didn't add that in there, it wouldn't even be eight minutes long. So you know how that goes. Okay, so we've got the lab free. You saw the lab is free, and that is always going to be our first priority, is to make sure the lab is occupied. Now, luckily, I have enough loot that we can do the lab and we can do a gold upgrade. We also noticed we've got a ton of Dark Elixir, and we only had about eight hours left on the super troop boost so we don't really want to use all of the dark elixir right now because by the time we get to raiding which is going to be later on today we will need 50,000 to boost those super troops again so with the elixir with the gold and the dark elixir at the state that they are right now the decision was made we'll go ahead and first get in and do a lab upgrade and i think i said dragons because well that was the only thing i could afford 14 days no books so you can pretty much just walk away and leave the lab alone for two weeks now on the gold spend side we have 14.3 million gold which isn't nearly enough to get a expo to level eight but it's almost enough 
to get the Town Hall Giga Inferno up one level. So we went out and decided to raid with whatever we had. Notice we only have a partial CC. We only had a couple of heroes. And what do you know, the first... Okay, fine. It wasn't really the first village. I did cut out a few nexts in there. But the general idea is, of course, always use the next button and expect that it's going to take 10, 20, maybe even 30 tries to find a good base. I generally will wait for an over 1 million of each. But this was a rare instance when I was raiding and I wasn't live streaming. I decided to just get in there and try to get the builders going because I didn't want to wait eight hours until the live stream starts later on tonight because again it's all about efficiency and that means we try no matter what the schedule is even if it's the middle of the night set the alarm for 3 26 a.m get up and put that stinking builder back to work and if setting an alarm in the middle of the night isn't enough dedication i don't know what to say but if i were you I would leave a like on a video of a creator where the guy is willing to break up his perfect eight hours of sleep just to keep the account as efficiently and quickly upgrading as possible so that he can bring you more content about Clash of Clans and more videos about this specific account. And again, that is part of the reason today's episode looks the way it does because it's been a few days since I put out a No Cash Clash episode and I keep on reading in the comments, people are like, more No Cash Clash, more No Cash Clash. Well, the problem is I can only give you so much because the upgrades are so long and the raids... I'll be honest, they all pretty much look like this. I mean, there isn't a whole lot of variety. I know, I know I could start training different armies and try that, but we've all been there. We've been down that road. You've seen those attacks and it's not really going to be all that different and interesting. So the idea is try to come up with video content ideas Gold Pass Clash, No Cash Clash episodes on the regular, and then whatever else happens to pop up. Maybe it's Legend League, maybe it's CWL, World Championship type stuff. I don't know. It just really depends. I would love to have more Strange But True, but the problem is that Supercell has gotten too good at clearing out the accounts of, well, essentially hackers, people that have compromised Clash of Clans, because those are the ones that make for interesting content. If you're not violating the laws of Clash of Clans physics, then... It's just not that much fun to make a video about it. And then I also realized that all I'm doing is getting those accounts banned, but would you find out about them anyway if I hadn't made a video? Because if I don't make the video, then it's not getting exposed to the public, and exposed to the public means the Clash of Clans team might not know. They're going to see it anyway. So even if I make the video, even if I know it, even if I don't make the video, it's going to get banned, so I might as well make the video because it's going to get banned anyway, and you guys don't have to blame me for getting it banned because it's going to get banned, and this way you got to see it before it got banned. Right? Yes, that actually makes complete sense if you go back and listen to that self-argument in my head uh, one more time. Okay, so that was it. Oh, there we go. Another perfect raid. Look at that. 15 leftover sneaky goblins, a spell, and a couple of super wall breakers. I'm telling you right now, this army composition, now with one jump spell, is absolutely ideal. And you know what else is ideal? The level of gold I have now because I can finally get that inferno giga thing. That's it. Okay, on to the fourth star. The fourth star in nine days and... Thankfully, it is time to move on to the uh, status report because that's about all I have for today. All right, so yes, we are continuing to hover yeah. in Champion 3, Calm Down Villager. It's not that exciting, but it does seem like a pretty good spot for loot. We have spent quite a few gems Whoa. recently, but still above the 2100 level, just in case something comes along and the heroes are ah. coming along slowly but surely. Town Hall 13 is a long grind, so join me in the live streams every day except for Saturday. The next goals, you guys told me, collectors and heroes, Galadon, do them at the same time. So thank you again, Galavan, for your attention, your likes, your subscribes, your using of code Galadon. Now get out there and make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and year. And I hope to see every last one of you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Galadon! Galadon! Congratulations on the most boring episode you've ever made! A snooze fist!